And now we're rolling. Damage Plan MMA Podcast. I'm Jason, as always, my co-host, the voice of MMA in Utah, Zach Partridge. What up, dog? What up, man? Long time I wish we were I wish we were still sitting on a beach in freaking Cabo, but it's all right. Yeah, I'm sitting. I'm sitting in our, our new podcast studio. If anybody yes, noticed, too. it looks a little different. That's because I've been moving offices all day and setting up our new podcast studio. I can't wait. So till pretty up. soon, me and Jason will be sitting side by side and doing these together again. So I can't make any smart remarks. You can, but I'll be in, I'll be in reach of choking you. <laughs> We're gonna might have to charge people pay per view to watch our watch our it's podcast, like, like Brendan Schaub and Brian Callen when they when they yeah. start wrestling on their podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, except you're uh, the bigger, stronger one. So, yeah, but come on, I'm not stupid. I lift weights, Zach. You fight. Muscles we don't win fights. Muscles don't win fights. That's the new shirt coming up. Don't anybody take our idea because they're coming. Oh, they're coming. September 18th, we're going to bust him out. Oh, yeah. We hey, some good ideas for September 18th. We had a great time in Cabo. We did have a good time in Cabo. What was your favorite part? <laughs> Don't steal mine. I was, Okay, I won't steal your part. You know what? We had a really good time. Um, Sheree and I did the jet skis where you guys were parasailing. Um, and actually, you guys got to see, you guys saw us out there on the on the yeah. water jet skiing but it was dude, it was good times that was probably the, the the one of the funnest parts we had was just getting out there on the ocean riding some jet skis cruising got to see some sea turtles um beautiful resort the, the resort was amazing the ocean was amazing the view was amazing um the service on the other other part hola como esta hola senor phillips uh, Senior Jason, you don't get the discount. Yeah, Jason didn't get a discount. <laughs> I didn't get the that. discount. No, yeah. we we asked people. We said, you know, we run we we run a well listened to podcast back in in Utah. Give us the discount. They didn't Give care. Us, hey, you want to know what the highlight of my trip was? Cabo Airport. A lady recognized me from the podcast. She said, "Hey, are you with MMA?" And I could couldn't really hear her because she's got her mask on, right? She said, "Are you with MMA?" And, excuse me? She's like, are you with MMA? I'm like, yeah, I do. I do a podcast. And she's like, I thought I recognized you. And my head just, I asked Sheree, I'm like, I need to start Dude, carrying a pin. It's, I need to start your, carrying a pin. It's you're yoked up and you have tattoos. Everybody assumed you're, you're a fighter. Cause you, yeah. Well, she, they looked it up. I had my do damage shirt on. So her husband Googled the hashtag do damage to fight, figure out what it was. Nice. And, and yeah. So, before uh, they charge for umbrellas, they I'm no, surprised they, they didn't, did. no, I'm, they but I'm didn't. surprised they didn't. No, they all didn't. The other, it was actually it was it was a good trip. It was a good. Trip. It was a very good trip. It Me was, and my wife got some good snorkeling in. Got to do some couples parasailing. Uh, you know, I I, get, I gained some weight back. Now, hey, now it's back on the diet. Uh, so you so you have to tell us your favorite part since I won't okay, steal. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So they have this really awesome pool and there's a whale. We did the whale slide. We giant, did the whale slide. There's a giant like killer whale thing that slid into the pool. Really nice. There's an upper pool for adults only family pool below. Well, the family pool below had like a little cave and waterfall covered area and, and then out to the shallow end. Right. So, but right beyond the deep end, there's a hot tub. We're sitting in the hot tub and, and Jason's wife, Sheree, comes walking over. <laughs> After she'd already been warned that it was deep over there, I told, hey, Sheree, it's not too deep right there. Jump in. Got to remember, how tall is she, Jason? She says five foot, but I don't think she's five foot. More like 4'11". She's like, she's, 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 she's not she's, tall. <laughs> she's not tall. She's not tall. And earlier when I had jumped in there, I mean, I could jump in there, put my hands above my head, and I was still at least a foot or two away from it. Was a good nine feet deep. Yeah, nine, a good ten nine feet. feet. Nine, easy. ten feet. Easy. 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 And I told Cherie, hey, Cherie, it's not too deep right here. Why don't you jump in? Thinking that she knew I was joking. Well, she didn't. And she hops right in and goes all the way down. And 
it was it was, i would have i i would pay for security footage or something oh that was great it that was, was so great. funny it and then so when funny. she's getting out she almost hit her head because the cave thing's real low oh as you're getting gosh. out and i'm like oh man that would have been bad but yeah you know all in all great time we got to have a nice dinner on your anniversary night yeah we, that was know. good so and and kept my word i did not watch the fights you didn't watch the fights good man it's your anniversary i've seen, I've seen highlights and uh and I, I know enough and followed them, but um, I was able to catch a few of them before dinner. And I caught, oh, what did I catch? I caught the last three cards on the main event. Yeah. So the main, the co-main, and the Chiesa and Luque. Um, yeah, it was good. It was just fun, man. Should we break this bad boy down? Absolutely. Recap it, should I say? Um. Dude, I did great on my picks. I think I only missed three. Let's see. I missed Victoria Leonardo, who broke her arm. Which, for the record, I did pick Victoria on the podcast, but I changed it after because we did not see the weigh-ins because we did the podcast on Wednesday. And after I saw the weigh-ins, I flip-flopped that one because I thought Grotto looked amazing. You and it, and it was in the group. I did post it in our group with that official pick. There was one other one that I wanted to pick after the weigh-ins, but I stuck with it because I, it was kind of a gut feeling. Um, we'll get to that one. But first up, we had Johnny Munoz Jr., uh, Jamie Simmons. I think we knew how that one was going to end. Yeah, it was a little – I didn't love how much juice Johnny Munoz was getting on that, but yeah. he, ended up, he, he ended up being well worth it, being the first leg of our, our lock. Oh, the little parlay. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, Melissa Gatto making her UFC debut looked great. Got a second round ar uh, broken arm, doctor stoppage. What, what did she break her arm with? Do you know? I did not see that, so I don't know. So if somebody's watching that knows. How she broke her arm. Hey, thanks, Phillips. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Um, Miles Johns, Anderson Dos Santos. I think we knew how this one was going to end. KO in Late. the third round. I, I did two. see that one. Yeah, I did see that one. Johns looked good. Looked really good. He looked really good. He looked just a step ahead. We actually did get to see a little bit of that one on it before we went to dinner. Yep. Uh, Manel Cape and Oday Osborne. This was the one that we both were all in on Oday. And at the weigh-ins, well, I'm like. Oh. Well, so, but you got to go back to the, why were we all in on Oday? Because Cape hasn't really shown anything. Because he hadn't shown anything yet. No. So he took no. a little step down in competition. And I said, I'm going to pick against him because I want him to show me something before I pick him. Well, now he showed I, us something. Okay. I thought the size difference was going to be more than it was. And when I did see the face off, I was like, ooh. Capes, hey, that, Capes look good. Small. He looked big. He's a big, he's he's not, big dude. He's not small for 125. I, ju I just don't think he's a lead in the UFC. But, yeah. um, hey, um, get, get back on the winning path. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, he has the potential to be in the mix up there. Like, he came over and was asking for Davis and Figueredo. Like, he still is. He was still asking for people. He wants. Oh. He wants it. I don't know if he's well, ready. Good for, for him. him. Good for him. He got, a, he got the W. Good for him. Uh, Jessica Pena and Carolina. Cash Cole. that underdog. I was all over Jessica Pena. All over that. She I mean, made it look. I mean, Kawal, her, Kawal, her trajectory. Uh, yeah, Carolina just. She's done. Penny, I, if I remember right, she slipped or somehow she got to the ground and basically called Carolina to the ground. And Carolina went to the ground. As soon as she got to the ground, she just snatched her up. She probably had her in an arm bar for about a minute and a half before she actually broke for, broke it free and then cinched it up. Well, yeah. Carolina, shh, it's probably time to be done. Yeah, I think so, too. That's five in a row. But, yeah. you know, I'll, you know, one thing when you're picking fights, look look at their trajectory that they're on. Carolina was doing this. Jessica yep. Penny looked fabulous in her comeback fight. Yep. You could say hers is starting to really take off. I mean, and at one point she was, I mean, pretty highly touted. And when she was on that season of Ultimate Fighter, they they thought that she could be a future champion and, and contender. She never really got to the contender part, but uh, you know, she she could get there now. She could get into the mix now. It's impressive. It's a good win for her. What's up, Fiji? Fiji, what's cracking, man? Uh, next up, Alonzo Menafield and Ed Herman. I think you were all over Ed Herman on this one. I wasn't a all a timeout. It wasn't. I was all over Ed. Herman. <laughs> he did have good value. I, I was, I'll give you that. I was all over it, 
this, the round two starting. Many that's fields. actually that's actually what I placed my my larger wager on. Was a round two starting on that was one? Was round two start or was round two starting. Um yeah. Alonzo Menfield uh starts with Ed Herman's just been around so long and just being a veteran and you know he's got a good chin still. His physically he's holds up. I just he's tough. He just Alonzo had a great game plan coming in, chopping that front leg down and mobilizing him and uh and throwing him off his game. Menafield looked good. I was impressed. Seemed like he was a step ahead, which he should have been. I mean, he's the younger fighter. Uh, next up, we had Vince Morales and Draco Rodriguez. I didn't get to see all of that fight. Um, I actually, what I did see of it, I thought Rodriguez was winning. So I was surprised when we saw the results and Morales ended up pulling off. So I'll have to, we both did end up picking Morales on here um, as the underdog. So I'm glad I went through. I'll have to go rewatch the fight and see how he won. Yeah, uh, really interesting, really interesting with Vince because, like we said, that was, that, that might have been do or die for him. Yeah, I think so. It's a good, good, good thing he moved. I think it's a really good thing that he moved down to Vegas with um, Syndicate. Good move for yeah. him. Yeah, he so Morales. So 29, 28, 29, 28. One judge had a thirty twenty seven. I if I saw the first round. I thought Rodriguez won the first round, but. It was close. It, it was close. It was close. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hate on that. Um, Probably one of those fights where it maybe could have gone one way or the other, but nobody really got robbed. Yeah. Uh, next up, we had Rafael Fazeev and Bobby Green. I just finished the first round of that one. Probably the best call out of the night. Fazeev calling Hasbula. out Hasbula. Hasbula for the win, baby. I freaking- Oh uh, yeah, I watched the first round of that. I'm curious on that one because yeah, 29 20, it was unanimous decision. Uh one judge had a 30 27 fazeev. I mean, the first round was razor close to me. Razor yeah. close to me. Um dude, Fazeev's a problem. 155. Bobby Green didn't look bad in that first round. I didn't, like I said, I didn't finish watching the whole fight, so it's hard for me to make a but he looked he looked good. Uh, what did we have next? Song Yudong, Casey Kenny did not watch that one. That one was a split decision. Um, Man, Casey Casey Kenny losing two fights now by split decision. That's tough. That was one where I think weren't we both on Casey Kenny on this one? No, or sir. Did, I was on Song Yudong. You were on Song. I was on Kenny. That was another one that and I flipped after watching the flip. face off. Yeah, you did. That's why I like watching the face-offs on there because I like to see the weigh-ins. I like to see how they're looking. I like to see size-wise how they how they match up. And and Song just looked – he looked big. He looked good. Um, I'll have to rewatch that one. Yeah, Casey Kenny's two fights now, split decisions. Yeah, to, to Song Yudong and Dominic Cruz. So losing to two legit ranked opponents by split decision yeah. isn't a downside, but now it's like – you have to win your next fight, right? That's just ah, that pressure. That would, he's still he's still pretty pretty young though, too, isn't he? He he's, is. He's thirty. Song's only twenty three. I saw somebody somebody said, I don't remember. It was on Twitter. Somebody was like, "Yeah, Song Yudong's Pete." I'm like, Pete? What the f- he's twenty three year old kid. Does he? Some of these guys that tweet stuff, I'm just like, are you just looking for attention or? Yes. What, yes, is that what they it is? say? They say ridiculous stuff to try and yeah, s- troll just like the, and just like the guy that said, just like the guy that um on uh, TikTok that said freaking oh if you haven't watched my TikTok video on the beach go watch my TikTok video yeah, <laughs> um cool. yeah the guy on there that says he'll take a, a an average local an average regional fighter will yeah. beat a prime yeah. Mike Tyson bruh come on. I'm like, dude, come on. He's like, oh, define, and define average. Am I exactly. average? Is what? What's average? Oh, and then you're talking heavyweights, right? Yeah. Sharice says my TikTok. It's on mine too. Nobody, yeah, but nobody's it, watching. But it, but it's Sharice TikTok. You stole it's it. It's Sharice TikTok. I stole it. It was Give my credit. idea. It Give was my credit. idea. It was my Give idea. But you did it first. But you did do it. I didn't first. have service on my freaking phone. Well, get a better um, phone. Yeah, get better service. 
Uh, next up, Tisha Torres, Angela Hill. Didn't watch that one, but I'm glad Tisha Torres came through. I, I know. You yeah, nailed I was, it. I was all over I, Tisha Torres. I was on Hill on that one. I don't hate it. I don't um, hate it either. I just thought Tisha's looked good in her last fight. She I just has. think her control. I just think she's she, this. She's making her push. She feels like it's her time now. And and when you do that, she's making her push. So uh, good for her. Um. Oh, I think my battery just died in my mouse. Uh, next up, we had nice. Vicente Luque and, and Michael Chiesa. I did see that one because I got back from we got back from dinner in the room just in time to watch that fight. They they were literally in the cage. Um, That's Chiesa looked for the first half of the well, for the first two and a half minutes of that fight. Chiesa looked good. He had him down. He had his back and. There was a slight little scramble, and Vicente slapped on that Darce choke, and it was tight. And there went my money down the drain. Vicente's a problem. He's a problem at 170. Do you like him getting the title shot next? What do you think about him getting a title shot? How about him and Edwards? Will Edwards fight him? I don't know, but Gilbert Burns and Edwards had a little back and forth. Gilbert Burns is right. He is right. If he sits back and just says, I'm going to wait, dude, yeah. your biggest win is over a non-ranked Nate Diaz. That's your biggest win. 100%. 150%. I'm sorry. That doesn't earn you a title shot with Usman. If your strategy is, I'm just going to wait for him to clear out everybody but me, and then he has to fight me, it's not going to work, bro. I, um, I'd um, i like to see Edwards against either one of those guys. Because you know Burns and Luke aren't going to fight each other. So no, they're teammates. And how cool is it that Burns friends. corners him and is trying to help him become the welterweight champion? They're helping awesome. each other. I, I think I it's love really it. good. I, I love it. It's good for the sport to see stuff like that. Um, I like Luke, and I'm a fan of Luke. And I respect him. I just thought Kiesa's ground control was going to be able to get it done. I did too. You know, and you know what I respected is Kiesa was very honest. He came out after, and he said, the pressure got to me, and I choked. Because guess what? Quite frankly, that fight right there, my last fight just a couple weeks ago, honestly, that's that's how I felt. I, I felt the pressure. I felt a lot of pressure from outside places and stuff that I shouldn't have been worried about. I choked. Like, I get it. Yeah. I I was with you. I thought that top pressure would be too much. And he Luke got the chase down. He took his back. Took his back. Like, Looked like he had it such in, but Luke's post fight interview he's like i wasn't in any danger he's like i i i live for that like there's guys on my back during training all all through training camp see and I, and, and i can get that and i can appreciate that right and he's very confident right he trains with gilbert burns of course he has yeah he has currently right now for my money the best jiu jitsu practitioner um pure jiu jitsu practitioner in mma in gilbert burns in his camp right he is going to be prepared for that. It doesn't. It doesn't always mean that you defend it every time, though. I mean, yeah. if, if I mean, you definitely don't want to be hanging out there too long with with Kiesa on your back. You and know, because he because he, 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 all, all it takes is a one 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 big one slip of trying to grab yeah. a wrist and one slip and 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 it's over. So well, that's I basically mean, what happened to him. Did you see? Him? Did you see it? The video. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Beautiful setup, like just beautiful job, beautiful job of, uh, you know, I feel like when you've defended a, a choke the correct way, or when you've defended a submission, your natural instinct is to get away. He dove like right into his own offense. And, just, and, and it, I just didn't think, I just think Kiesa wasn't ready for it. Let's get it. Leon Edwards, Luke, let's see it. Um, Next up, we had in the co-main event, Jose Aldo, Pedro Munoz. Bro, vintage Aldo in that fight. And this was this was like my <laughs> other one. Fazeev was my lock of the night, but that wasn't too good. I was all over Jose Aldo in this one. Too. Yeah. He looked so good in his last fight. And, and no offense to Pedro Munoz. I'm just like, if Jose Aldo looks like Jose Aldo, especially in a three-round fight, I'm big on this. I don't think Jose Aldo is a five-round fighter anymore. I think he's put too many miles on there, and he fades. Maybe he's used to it now at 135, and he, maybe he can do it now. But against Peter Jan, he was two different fighters, one through three versus four through five. And maybe that was a Jan thing. But well, 
watching that fight, he, the first two rounds, very calculated, very calculated, very precise, checking every leg kick. Like, uh, watch how he checks every one of those leg kicks. Like, light on his feet, body shots. Like, he was eating the body up. And then in that third round, he came out like a man possessed. He was just, I don't, I don't know the stats, but he was teeing off on Munoz in that third round. He, it, it's, he was fighting Munoz. Like when you, when like, I felt like when I was, when I like spar with people that I know just, just can't hang. That's like, what the, that's yeah. that. I mean, and he knew it. And I mean, I, like I said, Pedro Munoz is a really good fighter. He is not on Jose Aldo's level. And I could not believe the odds were in at least minus 200 for Jose Aldo. That was the I was looking, that was the most yeah. value on the entire card by far. Hundred percent. What do you think about Aldo saying TJ Dillashaw next? Yes, make that fight happen. Whoo! Because mm. Peter Yan and Sterling Sterling they're... aren't fighting till October thirtieth. Is it that? It's the thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Abu Dhabi, right? The Abu Dhabi that card. That one's free. Free pay per view. Free UFC two sixty three Free ninety nine, baby. It's so, free. so yeah. yeah. So and that's... and Dillashaw just just tweeted out or or just posted on social media that he's about three months before he's he can he can train again. So, I mean, we could see that what the beginning of next year. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. That's a crazy fight. With as good as he's looked, with as good as TJ looked that last fight too. I would. Uh, oh. Yeah. I'm I'm all in on that fight too. I mean, I with the way that Jose Aldo's looked, how do you pick against him? Uh, I don't tell you right now. I don't in that fight. Hmm. Wow, so crazy. I, that could change, but as of right now, I, yeah. With as good as he looked, nope. Um, next up in the heavyweight division, main event: Cyril Gain and Derek. The Black Beast Lewis. This kind of went according to how we said it was going to go. Yeah. Did you watch any of that one? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, You know, it, it, it's just, it's just one of those things. And you watched it and you said something after I watched it. I agreed with, I think Derek Lewis by, by the end of the first round, he knew. I think he knew. Yeah. He, he checked out. You, you, I mean, when you're a fighter too, and some people have that dog in them, like, you know, they always have that belief that they can win, but there, there was, there was, and Derek Lewis pretty much always does. Um, but yeah, uh, I, that, that, that was hard to watch because Derek Lewis is always loading up on, you know, you're always waiting for that moment. And after the first round, it was like it, that moment's not coming, and he that knew moment's it. not coming. Gain is too and, was too and he smart, knew it. and he knew it. So is now here's been... here's the big question mark. Yeah, can Gain do that to Francis and Ganu? Yep, I'm telling you right now, book it. Crop this out and book it right now. He does the same thing to Ngannou. Just saying, I'm just saying. I, I'm going to tell you the difference between those two right now. They're both big. They're both athletic. Uh, I think Gain showed he's just as strong as Derek Lewis. Like he has the strength. Um, I think the difference is the fight IQ. I just don't think Francis has been doing it long enough. And he's training with killers. Like we know that, right? He's down there extreme couture. He's training with killers, but. Gain just has more experience in the fight game. He's just his fight, his fight IQ, I think, is just going to be higher, and that's going to be the difference. What 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 is Francis's path to victory other than other than that one punch, which is a huge advantage? But is he going to be able to get that one punch in? I think he has a much better shot than, than Derek Lewis. How's he set it up? I think because. Well, he doesn't have to. That's that's the difference. That's the difference between Francis and Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis sits and waits and waits and waits and waits and he waits for you to make a mistake. His whole offense is based off of you making a mistake. 
right? Curtis Blade shooting without changing levels the way that he should. Uh, Volkov getting sloppy and lazy after the fight's over. He waits for you to mis make mistakes, and that's when he capitalizes it. Francis, Francis, he can create that chaos. He's athletic and explosive. He's longer than Derek Lewis. He is. He he has his reach. I mean, he's more athletic and more explosive. Derek Lewis has freak, freakish one punch knockout power. But we've seen we saw him when he fought DC. You know, DC made it easy work of him. And he was a two oh five yeah. champ. You yeah. know, we, you you knew that if you're great. If you're great, Derek's not going to beat a great fighter. Gain's no. great. Gain's great. And Jeez. we've known he's been great for a, for a minute. And I hoped and I was rooting for Derek Lewis, but we, we had talks about this. Like, we knew. Yeah. We knew, right? He, if, you're, if your only path to victory is the Hail Mary, it's probably, probably, not, a, probably not a good, probably not a good I, out, outcome. I was really impressed with Gain's movement. He's so light for to be 200 and what 45 pounds. 50. I think he's 50, 50 two, 247, 250. And to be that light on his feet. And there was the one, the one move that really caught my eye was when Lewis kind of had him bent down and he kind of threw an up elbow and broke away and then threw the elbow again. I'm like, he's just on a, he's just on another level, man. Yeah, like waited at 247. He, he's like a freaking he's like a, a welterweight or a a lightweight, like he, the, the way that he moves. Yeah. And what I liked is that, is that, is that is Fiji. I like that his corner told him in that third round, it, this is it like finish him. Cause he, he came out through like four hard, hard leg kicks and then just started piecing them up. He just, he knew. Yeah. And, and honestly, anybody that didn't watch it, when he picked apart Volkov the way he did, that's when I, that's when I knew that he was great. Because I thought I, Volkov actually was going to beat him. Because I was just like, because Volkov's MMA experience. That's what so I thought tall too. And yeah. So long and 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 then for him to be able to move that way and pick apart somebody like Volkov, it's like he's 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 you ready. He's the best striker in the heavyweight division right now. It's not even I, close. Not even close. I mean, even close. I, I'm going to put him up there with almost anybody in any other division up there as one of the top strikers. Do do I think that Francis sends Gaines head to the mood like Overeem? No, I don't no. think so. Can he? If Gaines makes a mistake, he can. Because that was the thing. That knockout came from over Overeem overextending on punches and getting a little wild. <laughs> what I liked is the killer instinct from game because we hadn't really seen that in some of those other fights not like that not he he i think he does i think he finishes francis i'm telling you right now i think he does man i it's i'm not changing my mind i'm just gonna tell you right now that's my pick i will lock it in right now okay okay i so seriously who, lock it in. so who do you think that we have in the ufc right now could potentially beat game Nobody. Nobody. Stipe? No nope. shot? Nope. I'm not going to say no shot. I'm going to say I think Stipe or Blades would have a better shot than – I was just about to – that was the one I was going to bring up. I actually think Curtis Blades could be Gaines Kryptonite. No. G Gaines good on the ground too. That's the thing. Okay, He's got ground game too. It's not just good on the ground. Curtis Blades is elite on the ground. He beats him. I'll take what, your money too. What, BJ, I'm taking what, your money. I'm what, taking your money. What what beats what beats everything else? Dominant wrestling. You got he gain ha, gain has to have one punch knockout power. Because that's the but only he has to get that are, that's the only the only people, the only people who ever have beat Curtis Blades are not technical strikers. They're the ones that can land one punch bombs. And the two people that have only done it is Francis Ngannou and Derek Lewis. Gain does not have that one punch knockout power. The way that they do. He has to get him down, though, and I don't think he'll be able to get him down. Oh, he absolutely will. Bro, if DC can get down Derek Lewis, who weighs 45 pounds less than him, I guarantee you Curtis Blades can not, get game down. I don't think he does. You are just sucking all the I'm milk out you, of his tits. I'm telling you, man. I don't think he gets him down. I just I, – dude, he's proven – yeah. Bro, he's he is not proven against an elite wrestler. 
He is not proven against an elite wrestler. I'm not saying that Curtis Blades for sure beats him. I'm saying that that could be the kryptonite. And for you to shut him down, he's never fought anybody near Curtis Blades' wrestling pedigree level. Nowhere Fiji, even he, he, near it. He lights Stipe up on the feet. He lights Stipe up on the feet. I'm telling you, I, I just, I, I'm all in, man. I'm all You're, in. The disrespect. I'm all in. The disrespect, in. Jason. For the greatest You're, heavyweight of all time. The, the greatest the, heavyweight of all time. The, 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 UFC, the greatest UFC heavyweight. Undisputed. Seen, undisputed greatest UFC heavyweight of all time. Should have gotten his immediate yeah. rematch with Francis anyways. He should have. He didn't. And now he's getting shelved. And now you get saying, no shot. I'm all in on game. I'm all in. We have never what name one other heavyweight that we've been like all in. Like this is the guy. Brock Lesnar. Kane. Kane. Even Brock though was like, I mean, he's big, he's strong, but well, I mean, Brock, it, it it was Kane. It, Brock Kane. was it until I mean, it was Kane because Kane, because Kane could out wrestle him. Yeah, I I just dude, no. he's big, he's athletic, he's got submissions, he's got elite striking. He had okay. Time out. He's, on the submission. <laughs> Picks people apart. How many submissions does he have? How many other heavyweights have as many submission wins as he has in his? He has. He has two, bro. Come on. Yeah, but how many other heavyweights are getting submissions like that? What do you choke somebody out with? Then you get like a freaking arm triangle or he something. Got, he on got somebody. an arm triangle and a heel hook. Any he heel hook somebody? What other heavyweight is heel hook somebody? I don't even. I has I, there even been an attempt besides like a Nogueira or a. Um, one of the Nogueira brothers, what other heavyweight has even attempted a heel hook? Dude, he's oh, a problem. I'm, I'm sure Verdum did. Verdum, yeah, that's the other one I'm thinking of. Verdum, right? maybe, maybe. But, dude, he, he's a problem. I'm not saying he's not a problem. I'm not I'm not saying that he isn't great. I just said he's Mir, great. that's a he's good, Mir's a good one. Mir's oh, a good one. Frank Mir's another Mir. good one. Hello, Mir. sir. Frank Mir. But if there's not this long list of guys just, he's a, He's just no I, because just heavyweights a, generally just knock each other out. Generally, generally, he's not. He's great. He's great. But here's here here's the difference between being great now and being an all time great. Can't. I mean, because here's the thing. You you know who his next opponents are. I can tell Francis? you right now who Francis Stipe Stipe Jones Jones Jimmy. probably. And then after that, you're tied with Stipe. And then after that, you're tied with Stipe for the most title defenses. And then you're probably going to have to fight somebody like Curtis Blades. He's going to go down as the greatest heavyweight. Oh, my gosh. He's an er interim champ. Ten fights into care. his career. And you're just care. sucking all care. the milk out of his tits right now. Dude, He with what he's done, the, the Volkov, the, the Lewis, I, I, I'm not – I'm not giving Lewis the, as much credit as everybody else does. I did like the Volkov win though. That was, impressive. I love Lewis, but and the way on, that he, the he way that he be... finished Lewis, that he just, I mean, who else has done that to Lewis besides uh, DC DC Francis just stood in front of him, bro. I I'm, I'm with you on the Francis thing. I think he beats Francis. I think Francis has a better shot than Derek Lewis, but I think he beats Francis. <sighs> I, oh man, Roman, I'm going to have to disagree, man. I, I, I do disagree. That's, he sees it every day. No, I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm going to say no way game does anything to Francis. I, that he, that just proves, that just has proven my point. I think gains his fight IQ. It's, it's just, I, Francis is going to have to make up that ground. And I don't think he will. Now, if he beats him and then let's just say, Two years down the road, they end up running it back because of whatever. Take a year off. He fights somebody, a couple other pieces, and then Francis makes his way back up. Then this conversation will be different. But if they meet within the next within the next six months to a year, I think Game beats him. They better fight by the end of the year. Game I took hope, no damage. I know, but he said he's he has a new baby, and I, I don't. Oh, know. I'd like okay. to maybe let's run it in January. January, New Year's card. Ooh, Roman, I'm taking your money too. I am. I am. Uh, hey, screenshot this because we are going all in on this one. I won't take your money. We won't bet money because I think we're friends, and I don't like to bet my friends' money. Push up. I'd take your. I'd take your money all day. Y you don't count. 
<laughs> That's we, great. We'll bet like push-ups or something or whatever. Like, I don't know. Roman. Roman, here's the bet. Here's the bet. What's the bet? Y'all, we need to go down to we need to go down to Vegas. And if I'm you not win, sparring with Aleko, no. Oh, I was not going to say that. That's actually that's even better. No. How about this? No. When Francis, when Francis knocks out game, you have to go down to Extreme Couture and spar Francis. Let Roman set it up. Just three minutes. Come to the tryout. He said, "Come to the tryout." Oh, they are having a tryout at their gym. When's the tryout, Zach? Why don't you go down there? You should go down there. I'm busy. I looked at it. Um, I, I, I just, I. I've been impressed, man. I maybe Dude, he's I'm way so off. impressive. He's so impressive, and it's he's so fun, he's, and it's it's a uh, deal, deal. See that you got you, 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 you bet you better bank on hey. uh, gain winning. Otherwise, you're okay. gonna have three if minutes Francis, of hell with Francis, if, and, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell Francis hit him harder, if, hit him harder. You see me trying to do the body shot you, challenge I'll with him? I probably <laughs> break my freaking hand. <laughs> I'll make you. Oh, you'll become you'll become that meme of over him going like this, like a Pez dispenser, and I'll I'll just put it on loop. Hey, we need to set that up when they when they do. We're gonna, we're gonna make a trip to Vegas, win or lose. We're gonna make a trip down to Vegas, get some training uh, in. And I'm gonna oh. tell Francis I believed in you the whole time, Jason. He he was all Jason over Jensen. the game. <laughs> He's not listening to this, so maybe he does. Oh. Maybe Roman's gonna go show him. Roman's hey, look at these guys. I mean, look at these guys. No, they think, he, well, look at this guy over here with the red hat on. Oh my gosh. Um, I just, I, was, I mean, it's dude, it's so funny, but uh, I no, I gained so talented and uh, and uh, it, I, I, I understand the hype behind him, but this sport, if you haven't learned anything with this sport, it's greatness comes with longevity. Connor's rise was, hey, Frank, yeah, Connor's rise was incredible. Oh yeah, right. But fame and money changes people too. Like you just, I, you just don't, you just don't know until they go through it. And where I, why I don't think Gain is going to do what Connor did. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, but I'm just saying, may, maybe, maybe. You know, he has a little one on the way that just got here. Maybe things change. Maybe he isn't I, as hungry. Maybe. I, I Let's just say I, this. I, what's I, what's I, more likely, that he becomes the new goat of the heavyweights or that he doesn't? I would say it's more likely that he does not. I mean, I could, I'd agree with that. I'll agree with that. Right. So even though I'm going to be on the other side of it, I, I can't really disagree with it either. Cause the right, odds are right, probably right. that he's, it's not right. You know, but I mean, could he be in that, that, that next tier class of like the Verdooms and, 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 and like an all time great heavyweight? Absolutely. But again, it's like, I'd like him to become the heavyweight champion first before we have that conversation. I do love the fact that, both of the guys that are up there at the top, Francis and Gain, they're both amazing guys. Like they're both likable guys. They respect each other. Gain after the thing where they were asking about Francis, and he's like, "It's competition." It's like I, he's my friend. We're just we're just competing. I just do it for competition. Um, I love that when he got out, he came out and celebrated with the fans. Love Francis's story. I mean, it's hard to hate either one of those guys for what they what they bring to the table. I think either one of them could be, I mean, the face of the heavyweight division. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of those guys up there, right? Doesn't it kind of feel like it might be like a, it kind of feel, it kind of, but it kind of feels like it's those two and, and then everybody else. And then steep, steep is just, it's hey. like, it's like one, a one B everybody else. And then steep is just over here, just being like, Yo, when I decide to come back, I'm still the greatest heavyweight UFC's ever seen. Watch out. Here's hey. here's here's the other conversation you got to have. As these guys get we get more and more elite legitimate 265ers and guys that can fight with those 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 big boys. Yeah. How far away is it to 225 division? Cuz really that's where Stipe should be fighting. 
I don't think we're that far off of him at, at, within the next five years, two to five years. Yeah. I, I think five years, five years. Yeah. Cause enough. I feel like there's a wave of like legit two sixty fivers coming. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am. So happy I have, though, so I have but, a question for you. I have a question yeah. for you. DC only ever lost to John Jones and Stipe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prime DC versus gain. Who wins? Gain. Ha! Gain. How did how did how did both of those guys beat him? How did both of those guys beat him? How did You're both of those of guys mind. beat him? How did both of those guys beat him? Well, John uh, outpointed him in a five round decision. You don't think game could do, you don't think game could do that to him? <laughs> Head kicked him. Um, there it is. No, time out. No, time out. Time out. Time out. And then Stipe, Stipe, you know, it was, it was great. Great fight. Um, both of them. But uh, they, they're wrestlers, sir. And I, and D- I, DC could, could he, wrestle Gain to death. We'll, we won't You're know until it happens. Your mind. We won't know until it happens, but I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Freaking record. We Well, we're going to have it on YouTube so we can go back I mean, to bro, this. bro, I'll tell you he, this. I'll tell you this. He stops right the now. takedowns. He stops the takedowns. I'm telling you that right not, now. He's, he not stops the takedowns. Against an elite guy. Not, yeah, he does. I, I'll tell you that if if he does if he does it against elite if he does it against an elite guy, you 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 can wear the genie hat. You can tattoo the to. genie hat onto your head. I won't go that far, but I will wear the damn <laughs> hat. <laughs> I think you're I, out of I, your I, mind, dude. I just I don't think. He he's his fight IQ is too too high in my opinion. After watching what he's done since he's been in the UFC, his fight IQ is way too high. I just you don't think he's not training takedowns? Oh, of course he is. But I mean, there's training takedowns, and then there's somebody that's been on the mat since they were four or five years old doing it. I just don't think. I just I don't I don't think he gets taken down. I think he, 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 okay. I here's here. I'm not going to say he doesn't get taken down, but I, I think it's going to be very hard. I said, you, you're it won't be easy. It will not be easy. He's just going to pick these guys apart. He's just going to pick them apart. You're, you're literally after 10 fights and 10 fights, professional fights. I think he was in the UFC after three fights. I think it was his fourth Mm -hmm. fight was his first UFC fight. Correct. You're literally saying, his striking is – he's basically the heavyweight Anderson Silva. He's untouchable. Yeah, I'm going to say that right now. Who's been – who's better? Who's – And, who? and, and you're saying he, he can't be taken down by whoever – you're saying he's the perfect We don't fighter. know. I don't think – I because I, we don't know, but I'm going to err on the side of he, he's, he, he beats these guys. He beats these wrestler guys. But I'm telling I, you right now, his striking is, I, is up there with anybody. Anybody. And for the record – I actually hope you're 100% right about this because it'll be incredible to watch because he's so likable too. Like he's great we're guy. not going to get, we're not going to get the, like the eat we're and hopefully we're over the days of like even the GSP or whatever, and just not appreciating greatness and even Khabib not appreciating it as we're, ha- yeah. it's happening. I hope you're right because nothing is better than watching an all time great grow up. And we've literally oh. been watching him since his fourth fight in the UFC. Yeah. And just being like, man, this guy's a monster. I mean, I remember when he he won his first fight in the UFC, and I was like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, you know. And and so I mean, I all this being said, I hope you're right about all this. But you're literally building him up to be a perfect fighter. And I mean, he looks have, like he was in a lab, so maybe maybe he I is. haven't seen any flaws. Wait till he fails to use a test for steroids. <laughs> hey, he's from France. France has got their champ, baby. Yes. France, baby. <laughs> How's that silver medal taste? Tastes In basketball. Great. In basketball. Tastes great. That's basically what an interim title is, is a silver medal. It's fine. He's going to get paid. I'm not worried about it. Not worried that, about it. And by the way, again, all the people that were booing about the interim titles, go sit on a stick. That Francis and... Gain fight is going to make both of them a gajillion dollars and do it in France. And the, please do the fight in France. Dana just said they opened up in France. They just, the, they just opened and got a new TV deal there. 
the buildup for that fight will be huge, huge, huge. The challenger doesn't usually get it in his home country, though, right? I don't think he will. Mm. I don't think he will. Where do you do it then? Vegas, Texas baby. again? Vegas, Vegas, Texas? Vegas, baby. Not New York. I know that. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. No, nah, they're going to want that to be a pay-per-view, like money pay-per-view. You got to have that on prime time. Madison Square Garden card in November. That might, that card now might not even happen. Dana ain't going to New York. <laughs> not not a fill no, with all that stuff. Oh, okay. Little rant time. Union Event Center, baby. Union Event Center. Let's get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> was, uh, so I would like to point this out. The stupidity of this. If you want to wear masks, that's great. I don't care. I really don't. But we're in the Cabo airport. We've all had negative tests for COVID within 72 hours. That's how we can get on the airplane. You have to have a negative test. We yes. all have a negative test and they still make you have to wear a mask. We all have negative tests. Every person in that airport had a negative test and we still all had to wear masks. Here was my best part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're gonna talk about the the bellhop guy? Not the bell. I love the bellhop guys. It was the the people on the beach walking down the beach. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, you, you hey, if you want to protect yourself, whatever you whatever makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, you do you, man. You do you. Just don't bother me. Just don't tell me what to do. Just don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Um, dude, that was fun. I love it. Glad to be back. Hopefully that's a fun debate. It was fun. It's going to be, Oh man, I can't wait for that fight. Oh. Like I said, I'm not saying that you're dead wrong. I just, the odds I, of you being right is kind of crazy because you're, if all I, that, if all that comes to fruition, you're right. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time. Cause I'm think going about out this. on a limb, dude. I mean, how could you argue it? If he beat, beat, beats Derek Lewis for the interim title. And then and he's already beaten Volkov, who I thought was on his way to becoming a champion yeah. possibly again. And then he goes, and then he goes, Francis, Stipe, John Jones, Curtis Dos Santos. Blade. Beat Dos Santos. Oh, yeah, beat Dos Santos. Beat, but beats, beat Curtis Blade, beats Curtis Blades probably. Then probably goes through another one again. Right? Probably beats Francis again. I I think I think a, a if if he let's just hypothetically speaking, he beats Francis. I think if they run it back, there's a very – I think Francis has a better shot in the rematch because he's just getting better. Like Roman said, he, we know he's getting better. We've seen it. Like he he's improving. I just don't think he's going to be able to close that gap this that quick right now. And if he does, I, I'm wrong. And then I owe, I mean, that then right. I owe, then I owe Fiji 10 bucks. I want to see – see, here's the other thing. You Dang. win, you get to wail on me for three minutes and you get 10 bucks. What's that going to do? Nothing. Probably not even going to bruise you. <laughs> you just. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Stop. Stop the press. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We're going to get interesting with some of these bets. I'd be, I'd, I'd, come on. I'd be like the guy in the beach on my TikTok and Sheree's TikTok video. Oh, no, 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 no. So everybody that watches TikTok, you know, the, oh, no, no. So we got the beautiful sunrise, 7.30 a.m., and there's a guy passed out on the beach, knocked out. Ow. Well, cold. drinking too much. Probably drinking too much. Yeah. Yeah, that was, just, that was good. Okay. Um, Man, I, I right think uh, – and then there's no UFC this weekend. So, hey, listen, all you fighters that like to promote yourselves, make this a clip, Jason. Okay. Listen up, all fighters. If you are fighting on the Fierce card on August 28th or a Steel Fist card on September 18th, message us to schedule your time to come on the podcast. We do not have time to reach out to everybody. We have tons of people that reach out to us. That's who we, that's who we always get scheduled. We've never turned anybody away and said, no, never. thank you. No. So no matter if you're an O and O or the main event, message us so you can promote your fight, promote yourself, promote your sponsors, promote your gym, 
promote the promotions that are willing to have you on their shows. You know, we have two great promotions here in Salt Lake City. Like, help build their card too. It, it, it doesn't do it. hurt. And literally, we could do it in 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. We just in and out. Um, for So, no UFC, but we got podcasts scheduled for Thursday and Friday. Um, I want to get some of these local guys on here because these guys, a couple out of state guys on Friday. And then we had Trent Miller on before. Trent will be on Thursday. Um, Trent fought at Steel Fist what, six months ago, roughly. Was that it, right, Zach? When did, like six months ago, Trent Miller. He's from Vegas, stud, fighting up in Montana soon. I like, him coming on Thursday. Had like fight of the year with Marco Sarge. Freaking gym. amazing fight. Um, ah, man. I don't know yet, Fiji. We still are. Uh, we still got to get it all We're still getting get everything set up. put together. I, I'm sitting yeah. in it right now. But You're sitting in it, yeah. I'm still. Hopefully, you know, within, the whole place is a mess. Maybe by next week when we do a breakdown next week. By maybe that would be dope. I think we might be ready to go by then. That would be cool. Um. So yeah. See you guys uh, Thursday. We out.